Hey, Thomas here with an awesome budget DC controllable protein skimmer, the Aquamax DFC lineup. I got the 120 here with me today, but we're gonna check them all out. In this video, we're gonna go over its features, its build quality, and see basically exactly what you get for a DC controllable conical bodied protein skimmer starting at just north of that $200 mark. Whew. Considering it's basically an upgraded version of the FC protein skimmers that are already pretty dang popular, I think there's a lot to look forward to, so let's dig into it. There is a huge selection and range of protein skimmers out there, from simple and effective to luxury performance and everything in between. Usually, if you want a feature-rich protein skimmer with a lot of those thoughtful and useful conveniences, as well as performance-enhancing add-ons, you typically end up paying quite a bit extra for them. Aquamax has apparently made it their mission to bring a fantastic feature-rich DC controllable skimmer to budget-conscious reefers with their DFC lineup. They've taken their popular FC skimmers that sport a sleek wine bottle body, specialized bubble diffuser, slim water gate, adjustable air silencer, and twist-off cup with a convenient handle and unique clear dome lid, and upgraded it with a DC controllable pump, making it one of the best and most affordable budget DC skimmers out there. There are a lot of great features packed into these skimmers at what I myself and what most briefers would probably consider to be a very affordable price point. So let's get this one out of the box and take a closer look at this very sleek piece of reef kit. In the box, you'll find the skimmer body, the collection cup, the bubble diffuser, the Venturi, the air silencer, the tubing and plug for the collection cup, as well as the motion pump, its controller and power supply, along with the instructions. The DFC line comes in four sizes, the 80, 120, 180, and 280, rated for tanks up to 70, 100, 130, and 240 gallons respectively, when factoring in that heavy bio load most reefers tend to lean towards. The DFC lineup are all quite compact thanks to that internal pump and the slim water gate design that eliminates the standpipe that we typically see. The 80 only takes up a roughly seven inch by seven and three quarter inch footprint, while the largest, the 280, comes in right around that nine and a half by 11 inch mark. So all four models should be a really comfy fit in standard size sumps with room to spare, and they should still squeeze in nicely on those sumps that are a little bit tighter on space. Something I really do like about these skimmers is that they were clearly designed with user friendliness in mind, from the simpler details like the recessed base that creates a lip so you can easily line up that body, to the twist off collection cup with an easy to hold carry handle. Aquamax did a fantastic job of making sure this skimmer would be a pleasure to work with. I mean, they even opted to ditch the typical nylon thumb screws for metal screws, which I presume are titanium, and instead of press fit rubber nubs under the base, these skimmers have larger rubber feet that are actually fastened firmly in place. These skimmers also look pretty fantastic. They sport a single piece Cellcast acrylic wine bottle body, slick translucent blue accents, rounded and polished edges, and a laser cut Aquamax logo instead of the typical sticker we usually see. I think it's pretty fair to say that form was just as high on the list as function when they were designing these skimmers. When it comes to dialing in these foam fractionators, you have your two basic points of control plus a third in the form of that DC controllable pump. First, you can roughly dial in the air to organics ratio by adjusting the pump speed and then fine tune it by twisting the air silencer, which doubles as the air valve. There is a nice indicator at the base of the silencer to indicate the direction of more versus less airflow. And you can tighten down the screw to hold that silencer firmly in place once you've got a stable foam. Then you can adjust the water level inside of the skimmer body to dial in how you'd like to collect that foam in the collection cup using the gate. The knob on the gate turns nice and smoothly and has quite a lot of threading, making for some accurate fine tuning. There aren't any graduations or markings, however, so keeping track of the position of that gate that works best for your tank might be easiest if you take a picture of the position once it's perfectly set or perhaps mark it off at the threads. After your skimmer's dialed in and it's hauling out that skimmate, it's going to rise up the neck into the cup and hit that unique clear dome design on the inside of the lid. The dome shape helps guide that foam into the cup while also giving you a great view of the foam itself from above. 
The vents of the lid on the cup are quite large, but they are facing inwards towards that dome instead of upwards like we typically see. They also have a generous amount of clearance, which should help prevent a full cup of skimmate from having that grungy foam pop up through the vent holes in the lid and trickle down the sides of the skimmer, which nobody likes. When the cup is eventually full, a simple twist and lift using that carry handle and you can comfortably take it to your sink to dump it and rinse it out. And for those reefers who like to use an external waste collector to extend the time between cup cleanings, the cup does also have a drain port, so you are good to go. Circling back real quick to the Motion DC pumps that are included with these skimmers, one of the first things that you're gonna notice is the clear volute that gives you a view of the impeller where the air and water will be mixed together, which is something we typically see in some of the higher end protein skimmers. While it isn't a necessity, it does make it really convenient to check on how dirty that impeller chamber is and how soon it might need to be serviced. Plus, let's face it, it's just really cool to watch. When it comes to control, the motion pump offers adjustment of the pump speed from zero to 100 in single step increments, which should allow for some very fine tuning. It also has onboard memory to store your settings. So in the event of a power outage, your skimmer pump will come back on and resume the setting you left it at. And like we've come to expect from most DC skimmer pumps, it also has a feed button so you can temporarily pause the pump and have it automatically resume once you're finished feeding or dosing additives that might send it into overdrive. These pumps also have a clip-on base which makes removing the pump from maintenance and reinstalling it afterwards really quick and easy. On that note, just about every single part on this skimmer can be disassembled for maintenance as well which makes servicing the skimmer a lot less frustrating than some others since it becomes a lot easier to reach those otherwise hard to get places that usually require some pretty thin and flexible brushes. Once it's all clean, it goes back together easily and all of the components have great tolerances so you shouldn't be fighting any of the parts and they should fall back into position nicely while you tighten up the screws. So if you've been looking for a feature-rich DC skimmer built for budget-conscious reefers and Aquamax's DFC line matches your reefing mantra, you can go ahead and pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.